Hello, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Welcome to a Yarn and Yarns Extra video. This is a video with a little bit of a difference. I am trying out something new <laughs> to help me decide what projects to work on in September. So I had a little bit of a count up. I've got, I think around 23-ish works in progress as I'm recording this. Um, I'm hoping to cast off a couple of projects in the few days before this video will probably go up. So um, the numbers change, but that's okay. Um, I've got a lot of works in progress to choose from is the point of what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, and I'm not feeling particularly motivated to work on any particular one or two of those projects so I thought I might try and inject a little bit of fun into choosing what I work on in September. If you've followed along for the last few weeks um, you'll know that um, I had been suffering from some back pain, some sciatic pain and I've spent a lot more time just lying flat out in bed <laughs> than I ever have before. I rediscovered my love of reading and to help me get through that time spent in bed, I started watching a lot of booktube videos. Uh, so basically um, the same sort of premise as us knitting podcasts, uh, but be people chat about their reading. And I fell down a rabbit hole one afternoon. A lot of booktubers have a stack of books that they want to read, but um, not enough time to get through them. So same as us knitters with our stashes of yarn. And I noticed that um, at the beginning of the month, quite a few of the channels have a fun little game to help them pick their reading list. So I thought I'd make myself a fun little game to pick my knitting and crochet projects for the month of September with me so far. <laughs> so I have a 20 sided dice and I have made myself 20 really basic cards with different prompts on the back. So my thought is to roll the dice, um, try and aim for about two projects per week. Uh, so eight projects all together um, that I can work on as and when I like throughout September. Are you with me so far? Hopefully it will become clear when we start playing the game. Um, there is a prompt in here for a giveaway and there is a prompt in here to make me roll again. So I could end up with seven to nine projects to work on through the month, which I think is about right because you know me, I don't stick to just one thing. So it'd be nice to have a few things to switch through. Let's roll the dice and see what prompts we come up with. And then once we've done that, I'll take you through the projects that I'm picking to work in September. Um, I'm just gonna roll my dice in this sort of tray so it doesn't go too far out of camera shot and I've got my selection of cards, so let's get this done. So that is roll card number 20, which is something gifted. And I'll explain the prompts a little bit more when we pick the projects. Number six, 12 cast-ons is the prompt for that one. Number 12, so 12 is a shawl, that is number 6 again. I've got, I'm trying to think of how to make this easy for myself, I've got some more dice so I'm just going to add one on top of there so I know that I've got to pick a project connected to that card twice. Number 19, sweater. Number 11, 11 is giveaway. Number one, newest cast on. And then finally, number four. Number four is roll again. <laughs> so I need to do two more rolls to get up to my projects, but actually that works out all right because um, 11, the giveaway, is not a project to work on. Number 18, oldest whip. 
and then an extra roll. Number 10 is, oh, let YouTube decide. So it's time to match up some projects with those prompts. I've got my um, Ravelry project page um, on my phone. I pick projects from my current um, works in progress list. Uh, so, number 20, something gifted. So my thought behind the prompt for that was to work on something that's been given to me. So it could be some yarn that was gifted to me, some a pattern that was gifted to me, or maybe I'm keeping my project in a project bag that was given to me. So that's the thought behind that. I'll have a quick scroll through my work in progress list and see which project might fulfill that prompt. I think I'm going to keep working on my Rift tea uh, for the Something Gifted prompt. I don't have that project to hand, it's downstairs because it's one of my sort of current active whips, but I'm really close to finishing that. And um, if you have watched my recent videos, you'll know that the yarn was gifted to me by the lovely Zoe of Pins and Needles. Um, podcast and the project bag that I'm keeping that project in um, was a birthday gift from my lovely friend Mandy so that covers the prompt in two ways and I'm also really close to finishing that project so I'd like to carry on and get that one done so yeah happy that I'm able to fit the rift in and keep working on that until it's finished the second uh, prompt was number six and I rolled this one twice and the Direction on the back of the card is 12 cast-ons. That is just asking me to, to pick one of the whips off my list that I cast on at some point during one of my 12 cast-on adventures. So I've got quite a few projects that would fall um, into that prompt. And I rolled that prompt twice, so I needed to pick two things from that list. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna go with is another project that I have been working on recently and also one that keeps me going with our Summer of Socks cow. So I'm gonna to continue to work on my sheep socks. So my sheep socks are living in this gorgeous bee project bag, which was a lovely gift from my friend Julia, who is mine for Magpie. And uh, these are the socks in question. And yes, I cast these on during the last um, 12 cast on adventure last year. So that is project number one for that prompt. Project number two, what shall I pick for project number two? Right, let's pick something that I haven't worked on for ages. In fact, I've probably not worked on this since I cast it on. Um, I want to join in with um, Sarah, who is the Crafting with Compassion podcast. Um, in September, she is having a shawl knit along and she said you can cast on something new or works in progress count. Um, so I think I am in the mood to work on my Waiting for Rain shawl. Here we go, uh, Waiting for Rain is in my red Cardinals bag and this fabric was gifted to me by my lovely friend Lisa. And I cast this on for the 12 Cast Ons adventure last year. And this is as far as I got on the first day of Cast On and it hasn't been touched since. <laughs> so it'd be good to try and get back to this one. Um, I'm knitting this from some glorious yarn from Ainsworth and Prynne in the Linnet colorway, and it's an alpaca and silk blend. It's so deliciously soft. The next roll was number 12, and the prompt from that is also shawl. So I've picked, could I cheat and double up prompts? Do you know what, I'm gonna do that. Is that cheating? That's cheating, isn't it? No, nope, scratch that, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna pick another shawl project. Um, so, prompt 12, let's see what we can find for that. I haven't cast on any shawls recently. The three or four shawls that I've got on the needles are from the 12 cast-ons foray. So, I think I am going to um, pull out another one of those to work on. And um, this is living in this gorgeous sort of garden theme bag with a gnome um, that was sent to me by my lovely friend, Sylvia. And inside here, I'm working on a pattern um, that was gifted to me by um, my friend Erin, and it's called the Ellie's Sock Set Shawl. It's designed to work with um, one of the sets that you often get from Indie Dyes these days, where you get 100 grams of the main skein and then a 20 gram sort of mini. Um, but I um, started mine 
uh, again for the 12 cast-ons using a sock blank that was sent to me by Mandy thank you Mandy look at this gorgeous sort of striping sock blank and I'm just I think I picked out um, a whole bunch of minis to um, use in the sort of contrasting short row details um, and oh I'm so excited to be working on this I haven't pulled this out of the bag again since I cast on I think this is going to be absolutely beautiful and I really really love these colours of course um, so yeah be nice to get back to this one in September and get a little bit of progress made um, yeah I'm enjoying this game <laughs> The next prompt was number 19, which is sweater. And I'm going to be working on the dude for this. I'm so close to finishing James's dude sweater um, that I think it would be churlish of me to pick out one of my own sweaters and not push forward and try and get this finished in September. So sweater, the dude. The next roll of the dice was 11, which is giveaway. So I am going to host a giveaway here on the channel. I will obviously set up the giveaway here but I'll mention it on next week's vlog as well um, so that um, as many people as possible have a chance to join in the giveaway fun. I'm going to give away a pattern just for ease uh, you can pick that pattern from Ravelry or from another website and it will be a pattern of your choice up to the value of let's say eight pounds. Um, I'm going to combine that prompt with um, number 10 um, and number 10 said let YouTube decide so I'm going to pick two projects out of my whip list that have not seen the light of day for a long time um, it's going to be an either or scenario and in the comments below um, let me know which of the projects you would like to see me work on in September and for everyone who leaves a vote um, you will get entered into the giveaway draw. Does that make sense? So kind of combining the two um, prompts. Right, so I've picked two projects I'm eager to work on that I haven't worked on for ages. And um, yeah, I'd like you to choose for me which of these I should work on. Um, so the first one is my Weekender, which is a sweater pattern by Andrea Mowry. And I'm knitting that. I've just grabbed a skein of my hand spun yarn. Um, this project has not seen the light of day for ages. But if you remember back at the start of the year um, and the end of last year, I spun up a sweater quantity of kind of crazy mild yarn. And I'm hoping to turn it into a Weekender. And I cast on and uh, did the neck bands. I'm reversing the pattern. And kind of stopped and the project's gone into hibernation since then um, so would you like to see me working on the weekender or would you like to see me working on my Aliba Linde sweater this is a project that I cast on not this last round of cast ons but the, <laughs> the round before um, it's an all over textured sweater pattern um, published in Pom Pom magazine and you may not seen this before if you're fairly new to the channel um, but I've picked um, a lovely sort of chartreuse green um, which was dyed by Mahoodley. Mahoodley's not dying at the moment but um, I picked this up at um, Yarn Porium a couple of years ago and yeah it's quite a slow progress project not only because I haven't taken it out of the project bag <laughs> but also because it is an all over uh, sort of textured pattern If you'd like to be entered into the giveaway for a chance to win a pattern prize of your choice um, then please comment below Weekender or Aliba Linde and I'll pop that on the screen now and I'll leave the giveaway open for a week. Please leave your comment by the 4th of September um, because I want to have an opportunity to obviously work on one of those projects during September and I'm not going to be necessarily working on these projects in any particular order as long as I work on the project for at least a week um, at some point in September then I shall be happy that I have um, met my goal for this kind of video. Leave me your vote below for Weekender or Aliba Linde. Two more to go. Um, the first one was number one and that's my newest cast on and for that um, I am going to go with my crocheted twiddle muffs I am that's my newest project on the go at, the, at this point in time and I am keen to continue working through my scraps and leftovers um, to make some charity donations um, so twiddle muffs for newest cast on and then at the opposite end of the scale number 18 
oldest whip. So my oldest whip, according to Ravelry, is my Ragnar top. Okay, so here is the Ragnar. It's basically a really short shrug, um, almost, it's just two sleeves with a tiny little back. And I cast this on as a bit of a frivolous cast on. Um, I basically wanted to be this girl hanging out in my oak panelled room. I've worked on and off on this project for a little while. It's um, Rowan felted tweed and Rowan kid silk haze. I've adapted the pattern somewhat because in the original pattern where you see the orange, the original pattern has you just holding the mohair there. But I've held the mohair with the felted tweed and I'm working on the sleeves. I've done the little back panel and yeah, just kind of stalled because um, I needed to think a little bit on this project. The charted pattern only covers like a small area and the next part of the pattern is like, just keeping continuing on the sleeves and making sure you stick to the pattern. <laughs> so I need to kind of really concentrate and figure out what I'm doing. In this, in this glorious giant project bag that was gifted to me by Pamela, who used to watch the channel. I haven't heard from Pamela for a while, so I'm not sure if she still watches. Um, but this bag is like a really big sort of envelope style bag, and it's great for sweater projects. It's high time that I made progress on that Ragnar. So yeah, thanks to my little game of chance, <laughs> September's gonna be the month that I add a few rows. So that's it. A little bit of frivolous fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, did you enjoy the video? Um, should I do it again? Do you have um, some ideas for some prompts that I could um, attach to my cards? Some of the things that didn't come up um, this month were working with handspun, um, knit a hat, knit on something orange, um, use random number generator to um, pick something from your whip list, finish a project, start a project, um, yeah, and there's a few more besides. Yeah, let me know, should I do this again um, for at some point in the future? Um, was it a complete waste of time? <laughs> do you not see the point? Uh, yeah, just leave, you, leave your thoughts below and don't forget to um, pick between the Weekender and the Aliba Linde to help me decide what to work on in September and in the process to um, get yourself a chance to go into a prize draw to win a pattern of your choice from anywhere on the interwebs. I'm off to edit this video and make myself a little list of these projects before I forget what I'm meant to be working on. <laughs> So until we get to spend time together again, I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big bully hugs to you all. Bye for now.